The Coindesk Spotlight is brought to you by Nexo, the place to earn on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and more. Crypto wallet provider Ledger has recently closed a massive Series C 380 million funding round with an implied valuation of more than one and a half billion. They're also partnering with blockchain based payments firm Wire to roll out crypto buying in the United States. Users will be able to buy crypto with dollars or other government backed currency directly to their hardware wallets. And joining us now with more is Ian Rogers, Chief Experience Officer from crypto wallet provider Ledger. Welcome to the show, Ian. Thank you for having me. So we were talking about ransomware, a situation where the government can take your private keys and get a hold of your Bitcoin, criminal or not. I'm guessing the criminals weren't using a Ledger hard wallet, were they? It doesn't seem like they were. Uh, you know, I think that, that if, if your private keys are on your Ledger, that someone is going to have a very hard time, uh, you know, getting that, those assets from you unless you somehow give them your 24 words, which you should never do. <laughs> so where geographically are people most using Ledger? Is there any correlation to higher use in countries where Bitcoin has more restrictions, such as China or Nigeria? No, not necessarily. I mean, you know, our, our markets are what you'd expect. You, we see, you know, the U.S. is our is our number one market. We have, you know, good good sales across Europe. If you put Europe all together as you know one country, then then you know Europe is is as big as as the United States. We also see great traction in Asia. Sometimes we'll see some moves in the market. You know, with what happened in Turkey, uh, uh, you know, a month or so ago, we saw incredible sales in Turkey. You know, whenever whenever somebody whenever there is an uh, you know an exposure. You know, I mean, look, even even GameStop uh, was an incredible advertisement for self custody. Um, so, you know, anytime people see kind of the the danger of of you know custodial solutions, then our sales go up. Um, you know, as 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 went on in Turkey, but but you know, no, generally, I mean, we sell at a at a really big scale, and and that is that is worldwide. I mean, we sell in two hundred countries every month. Ian, oh, that's interesting. Morning, what do you mean that GameStop is an argument for self custody? Well, if you think about what they had, they had a they had a liquidity crunch, right? I mean, they didn't they didn't have, you know, they didn't they didn't have the assets for the run on the bank on some level, right? But when you hold your assets in your hand, that can't happen to you. So, Ian, uh, good morning. You you were you were at LVMH, you Apple, you you were doing things uh, as far as experience goes. So, what's the experience you're you're looking for here at a at a at a crypto company? What what are you going for at at, uh, well, you know, we, yeah, I, I was at Apple and at, L, and at LVMH, you know, which is a, a big luxury con conglomerate. My, my background is computer science and digital music for, for, for 20 years. And, you know, I, I think, you know, our, our belief is that, um, you know, when you when you use an Apple phone, you're you're using an Apple experience. It's not just a piece of hardware. You're not, oh, I've got to buy this piece of hardware. When you buy an Apple device, you're you're buying the experience that comes with it. And that's the, the you know the hardware, the firmware, the software, the transaction layer, et cetera, et cetera. You know, everything, services and transactions, everything you get with with your Apple device. And we really think that, that that's where this goes in, in crypto as well. I think that, you know, as in any industrial transformation, there's kind of an, an unbundling and that's your, you know, your web 2.0 hardware plus your web 3.0 hardware, which is which is your Ledger Nano. Um, and, you know, those need to work together really seamlessly. So, you know, you, you store, you can store your assets securely on your, on your Ledger Nano, but you don't just want to store them and put them in a closet. You know, you, you want them to, to interact with the ecosystem. So, you know, that, that could be trading, it could be lending and staking, it might be NFTs. And, you know, the place that you're at risk is, is at the, at the moment of transaction, right? At the, at the end points is where you need to be secure. Um, so it's that experience of, you know, really thinking of, of Ledger, not just as a hardware wallet, but as a gateway to the world of cryptocurrency. So if you look at what we've built and where we're going, you know, I think, if, you know, if you, if you look at a year ago, you would have, you know, bought your, your coins elsewhere and then, you know, come to Ledger for security. But now you can actually start your journey with Ledger Nano. You buy it, you get it out of the box, you can buy your first crypto with it. Um, you can go into the world of DeFi with the Paraswap integration that we just launched this week. And increasingly, you simply don't need to leave um, the world of, of Ledger uh, and Ledger Live uh, to do what it is you want to do with your digital assets. And as institutions look to get into crypto, are you speaking more and more with big clients and hedge funds and, and banks and, and, and so on that want to learn more about custodying their assets? 
Yes, and we do have an enterprise side to our business. Um, so we are not the custodian. Um, we do have a, a, a JV uh, called Komainu, which is a JV with, with uh, Nomura that offers custody. But the Ledger Vault solution is for people who want to, you know, it's for, for exchanges, hedge funds, banks, asset managers who want to um, custody crypto. Um, but they need a governance solution, right? So for me as an individual, my Ledger Nano is perfect. It's got, you know, it's got my passcode. I've got my 24 words backed up in a safe place, you know, and I'm safe. But if I'm an, if I'm an organization or an institution, then I need governance. I need, you know, I, I can only, you know, up to this amount of money, it requires, it requires one signature up to this amount of money. It requires three signatures, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what we offer with, uh, with the Ledger Vault technology. And yeah, we were talking to more and more institutions every single day. Are you able to predict uh, price, big price movements ahead of time based on activity using Ledger? Um, not any better than anyone else, right? I mean, that, that data, the, the data that we see is the same data everyone else sees, right? So we're all, we're all looking um, at the public Ledger. So, so no, we don't, we don't, you know, we aren't able to predict, uh, you know, swings any better than anyone else. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of, of this technology is that all of that data is, is, is out there on chain. Mm -hmm. Speaking of data, do you even have a rough estimate of how much Bitcoin is 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 stored on Ledger wallets? We we have an estimate because we run explorers so that you can see your assets, right? So when you use Ledger Live, if you use Ledger Live, of course you can use a Ledger Nano without using Ledger Live. You can buy a Ledger Nano, connect to MetaMask, we see zero. Um, but when you use Ledger Live, you know you, you're really asking us to see your portfolio. So to do that, we have explorers that, that explore the blockchain, um, find your value and present that value to you. So in aggregate, um, not associated with any individual, we can see, you know, roughly how much is out there. And it, and it, and it looks like so how much, is, how much is out there? roughly? <laughs> it looks like at least 15 percent of all digital assets are stored on Ledger devices. 